I asked uh, Shehoa, who the foreign is called Jehovah, Creator, to show me some things about uh, some stolen money from me, inheritance, right? So I'm dreaming, and I'm in a fucking police station. Well, first, before, let's get, let's get this out of the way. I was fighting somebody in the fucking street. Um, I keep a gun even in my fucking dream. So I'm fighting, and it's getting good, but a bunch of motherfuckers come, so immediately, you know what I do, walk out, bop, bop. Next to dream stop, go to another dream. Well, there was some talking between another person and the dream, and then we went to another dream. Um, a white van pulled up where me and my partners were talking, and it's before, as soon as the car stopped, I saw him reach, and his arm got up, and I could see the butt of the gun, and I immediately draw down and lift the motherfucker, and drop the door up. Fast forward again. That's the end of that segment. There wasn't no talking after that. We just pulled out, I went to pull out the magazine, the gun, and the bullet. Bullets in the gun were crazy. They were super fat. Like, really fucking fat. Like, it was wild. When I went to check how many rounds was in the magazine, the bullet came out and had an extra shell casing around the entire bullet. And I couldn't get the bullet to go back in the shell case. That's the, that's the end of that part. Now I'm inside of a police station. I am a, a police officer, which I am not in real life. Wouldn't mind being one. That's not important. Uh, hey, somebody got to fucking protect and serve the goddamn community. And got them, hey, hey, hey. Bitch, we ride for the blue. And if you don't like that, fuck your mother. Anyway, rolling forward. So I'm in a police station. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I stand on it. What? Well, anybody, what, 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 what the fuck are they going to do? Nothing. Bitch. Blue. Blue lives matter, too. They do. And technically, blue lives is the only one that really exists in this whole black-white lives matter. Because ain't nobody white and ain't nobody black. This is dumb. Blue lives, you guys stay strong. And don't do stupid shit. You're going to fuck it up for everybody. Anyway, um, in the police station, I'm a detective for something. And I don't do hard drugs. That's how I know I'm in somebody else's body, which is freaking me the fuck out. I'm talking about it. And whoever, whatever detective or police officer, I think it was a detective that I had on the suit. Whatever detective I, body I was in, this motherfucker was on drugs. I'm talking about tough drugs, way. Like, this guy. So, it's like, um, it was like being in um, the movie The Sunken Place. A dude fall, he was like, she be like, sink, and the nigga fall in. Okay, so, I'm inside the man's body. Fucking detective. And they walk in the perp, <clears throat> taking them to the holding cell. And they walk into the perp, and the perp drops some drugs. And immediately, the detective's body, I mean, snatched the drugs up. They was like a wild animal. I, the, the feeling in this man's body was like, oh, shit, I got to have it. I got to have it. I'm like, and I'm freaking the fuck out because I'm stuck in this little dude's body. I'm like, oh, God, I'm in a crackhead's body. Oh, my God. You going to put me in a drug addict's body? Ain't this some bullshit? Not knowing, you know, the Lord works in serious ways, so I'm not going to ask the creator, Shehoa, what the fuck you doing? Uh, or I'll make the coolie, what's going on? None of my business. I'm just doing what the fuck he put me to do. So I'm inside the man's body. He's frantically picking the drugs up. He's frantic. Now, he got a bag of tobacco in his pocket, which is also weird. And it's in a sandwich sack like narcotics. And there's ashes inside of the tobacco. I don't know how the fuck I knew this, but immediately when the drugs were dropped, he picked them up. And another officer was like, what did you pick up? He pulled out the bag of goddamn tobacco with the ashes in it and he gave it to him and put the drugs in his pocket. The officer was satisfied with that. The officer walked off. So, it's random hard drugs popping up on the floor in the precinct. And I'm running around like fucking Pac-Man chasing the balls. I'm snatching them up. And there's a couple of other officers with me who was doing the same thing, which is another freaky fucking thing happening. And then we just run through the precinct. We're picking up fucking drugs off the floor. We're picking up drugs off the floor. We are fucking frantic. We are picking them up. Oh, God. We're like fucking crackheads. And it's raining crack, right? So we're picking them up, picking them up. And um, we end up in like the evidence room or towards the evidence room or somewhere where it's like, I just want to describe this because I'm seeing it right now. Um... It's like a hallway. It's like a red thing with a turn wheel, like for water cutting on and off. It's a, a like a water container type thing. It's opaque, but you can't really see through it. Like a, what is this cup? Like an Arby's cup, but it's a big ass square and it's got these metal square, uh, these metal fucking grate around it, like a a grid from math class. So it's got a metal grid around it. I've seen them before. Some kind of water thing. I don't know why the fuck it's in the precinct. But anyway. And um, what else is in here? Got the water thing. With the bars going around it. In the shape of a grid. For the math class. And goddamn. 
wheel for the water to turn on and off. It's something in the corner of the room. It's a shelf. It's a shelf in the back. It's a little bit darker towards this area in the back. It's a little darker. Like when you get away from the water container with the grid of metal wire on it, you walk back a little bit and it's like a corner where the normal layout stops. It goes full square like a regular room and then on the left hand side it stops. The wall stops, okay? And it goes first, goes out, right? And it makes a smaller hallway towards the back and it's dark and there's a shelf there. Okay, so me and a pack of drug addict goddamn zombie <laughs> officers, we end up here picking up drugs and we go to turn around to leave. We having a good time. We're laughing and joking. We're like, ha, 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 he, 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 right? And we're going to leave. And then the perp sees the, the, the officer whose body I'm in and the other officers. And he's like, that's the motherfuckers right there. They kill each other. They be killing their own officers and they be selling drugs. And we flip the fuck out. Apparently this guy knows what the fuck he's talking about. We panic. And I'm like, why the fuck is he panicking? You're an officer. Keep your fucking cool. But apparently, no, he's, he's been fucking caught red-handed. He is shit out of luck. And shit is hitting the fan. He's panicking. He don't know what the fuck to do. So, um, me and a pack of uh, drug gremlins from the 80s movie, you know what I mean? Uh, we try to run. And when we try to run, other, now the other officer's like, what the fuck? So we running through the precinct. The other officers start chasing us. They're like, come back. Let's talk. What the fuck you doing? Why are you running? If you ain't doing nothing wrong. And one of the motherfuckers in the group start throwing drugs down. They was like, they got drugs. I was like, this shit is a motherfucking shit Muppet show. This is a goddamn Muppet Babies goddamn shit show. Who the fuck is this asshole that threw the drugs running like a fucking perp in the fucking streets? You rookie son of a bitch. You fucking idiot. If we could have gotten away, we could have threw the drugs somewhere, right? No. Apparently, this group of officers are drugged out. They're scared and they're panicked. So they're running. Um, and as we're running... All the teeth in the body of the mouth of the officer's body I'm in start cracking and falling the fuck out. I can literally feel, if you've ever felt your tooth break or had a tooth decay in your mouth, I could literally feel the teeth decaying and breaking in my mouth as I'm running with this pack of gremlin drug addicted officers. My teeth are breaking in my mouth and I'm pulling them out because they're breaking at such a rate that I'm... I can't close my mouth. You know what I mean? Like my mouth is full of broken teeth parts and I'm pulling them the fuck out and I'm spitting blood and tooth the fuck out. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy on? Cause you know how, what kind of hard fucking drugs you got to be on for your teeth to break the fuck up like that in your goddamn mouth? That's way. That's meth. That is meth like a motherfucker. That's meth or heroin. What the fuck was that guy on, man? Um... They did catch the officers when they called us. Uh, what happened? What happened? I can't remember what happened when they called us. Um, shit, they cuffed us. And then some black officer detective, at the beginning of this, I want to rewind because I skipped a part. At the beginning of this, a black officer that kind of looks like the officer from uh, The Wire. No, 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 the um, the captain from Chicago Fire PD, he kind of looked like him. Well, a mix between him and the, the captain from The Wire, which is getting weird, ain't it? But anyway, he's in between those two guys. He looks, he's melanated, and he's got a deep, strong voice. And uh, what did he do at the beginning of this shit before some the perp got took to the thing and started dropping drugs and we got grimlinish? Um, it was like a part of the precinct was like an old house or a wooden house and we was searching it and the detective said break that board so he broke the board and he pulled out the board when he broke the board pulled the board out uh, what did he do he pulled out a foul it was a fucking foul it was two fouls one foul said some shit about will and testament or some shit or um something i can't i can't why i can't i don't know it was some, some shit like that and um then the other part of the fouls said uh it was a, a ledger it was like um it said a bunch of random shit like lawyers police and judges and then one judge's name was there it was in cursive like a g it was like grady gary um garing 
that I don't know, some G like that, and then that area. Um, and beneath that it said uh, IRS. And beneath that it said um, what else said it? What did it say after that? IRS. I'm looking at it going strong through my head. I'm looking through the list. What else after the IRS? Police pay them? I can't remember. It was something with a P. Payout or some shit? Something like that. And I gave it to the captain. And then we arrested the motherfucking perp. And keep in mind, this is like a the part of the precinct. This is a fucking house. This is, this is crazy. Hear me out now. Now, after we arrested the perp, that's when the shit started. And they was taking him to the motherfucking um, the hotel and... And the drugs got dropped and shit happened. It was crazy. It was nuts. The nuttiest motherfucking shit I ever experienced. I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Don't ask unless you, you will receive. You will fuck around and receive and you will be confused about everything. You're like, what the fuck is going on here? That's my story for today.